Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot and Pagan Perspective. Hopefully I get this all done in one take because this is between my iPad, uh, not letting me do videos for too long, and me messing up a video, I haven't been able to get a good take so far. And editing, even with this picture editor or the editor that I have, is not really that easy to do. So... This week's topic is on pagan leadership. It comes from Danny, who writes, I'd like to hear your thoughts on pagan leadership. Specifically, there has been some growing discussion about the need for an educated and dedicated priest slash priestess or clergy leaders within the community. Do you feel that the community needs to devote more time and energy to educating our leaders, or do you feel that, uh, that we are better suit served with our current system of spontaneous leadership? Do we need dedicated spiritual leaders, or can a person have a day job and be a leader? And I am reading from my notes here, so if you see me looking down, it's because, or that I'm reading from a script, that's basically because I am. Um, so I put down that I, I think that the community would be stronger with either a sole leader or a panel of leaders. Now, I... I believe more in the panel of leaders because we are such a diverse um, type of religion that I think a panel of leaders from different uh, areas and different walks of faith I think would be more suitable to represent us as a community to either the nation um, for world leaders or uh, national leaders, community leaders, what have you. I think it would be a lot better to have a a panel of maybe like, you know, five, ten people. So I think that would be a lot better of a of a type of system. I do think that the spontaneous leader tends to lead to fads. Um and fads is just a word that I'm using in lieu of a better word, uh, because I don't mean like it's something that's here today, gone tomorrow, and should not be recognized. I think that stuff sort of, or kind of like uh, uh, Silver Raven Wolf's uh, Solitary Practitioner book, I think it's a, a great, uh, you know, Wicca, Pagan 101 type book, but I certainly don't believe it's the be-all, end-all. And I think it has been kind of a fad within the community that, you know, this is what you start out you know, using, and though I think it's a a good reference, I don't think it should be the be all end all, and I, I I think that her being a leader has led to you know some some other type of you know spell books and one oh you know. The, the type of uh, spell books is like, this is how you do the spell, and if you do it, this will happen. And she's now not talking about the moral implications, the um, the spiritual aspects. It's, this is the ingredients that you put together, and this is what will happen if you do it. So I think it's kind of led to the fad of, do a, you know, if something's wrong, do a spell. Which, yeah, I don't... I, I don't want to say that you know, you should never do spell work. I think it's a very important part of my practice. But I think if something's bothering you, I think there's an underlying uh, reason that you might need to look at before just jumping to spells and potions. So I think it can lead to fads, having a spontaneous leader. I think in order to find this leader or uh, panel of leaders, um, I think it's easier said than done. Uh, it's hard enough to, to get a group of people to agree on one thing, let alone a group of people uh, who live a good portion of their spiritual life in secrecy. I think uh, if we were, if we could get a panel of trusted officials together as a panel of leaders, I ultimately feel that it could be a great way for us to bridge the gap between religion, or between religions, uh, within the national and um, social leaders, or, you know, bri bridge the gap between 
uh, the pagan community and maybe the Catholic community. Uh, even though we might not see eye to eye on everything, we could at least learn to respect one another and our beliefs and, you know, grow more as human beings and evolve uh, our ways of thinking. So I think with having a panel of these leaders that are trusted officials that are that we trust to uh, represent us in the way that we believe, I think it would ultimately be a, a good thing. Um, as far as a dedicated leader within a community, having a, a day job or working a full time as a spiritual leader, I think that it would be difficult. Uh, first off, whenever you, you have any spiritual leader, um, at, at least within the, the pagan community, you're talking somebody who does this as a side job or as a, a side thing. It's not really a full-time job. Uh, having a day job is more uh, more likely to be seen. And I think that the only way that they would be able to make a living would be th uh, through donations or being paid through this this panel, this council that... <coughs> ends up being our uh, our leaders within the nation or within the greater community. Um, so they would have to be paid through them or be paid in some way, uh, donations, fundraisers, etc., etc. And I think it would be difficult for them to make a living and not have a separate day job where they can go and make a living and then still be a leader within the community. Though I do believe that it's possible, um, many of the leaders right now in the community are uh, speakers uh, or event speakers. Um, they write books, so on and so forth. So if you have somebody like that, then I think it would be possible to have that as a day job only and not have to do anything else to supplement your income. Do I think it's possible? Yes. Do I think it's probable for every community to have a leader like this? Um, not so much, just because of the uh, complications in day-to-day -day living and financial uh, restraints. So this is my week's Pagan Perspective video. There is a link in the bottom bar um, referencing the discussion that, that Danny was talking about. So please go check that out. Like I said, it's a, the hyperlink's going to be in the bottom bar or in the description wherever it's showing on whatever you know device that you're using. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, have a great day and a better tomorrow, and I will see you either next week or the following week. I can't rightly remember. So until then, have a great day and a better tomorrow. May your ancestors be with you. Bye-bye.